Hello, my name is Mariana Yacera, and I'm a master's student in Dr. Van der Velde's lab in Montreal, Canada. Today, I have the pleasure to present you a little about my project, which focuses on an RNA binding protein called HNRNPA1B. To give you a bit of context, the gene HNRNPA1 can alternatively be spliced into two isoforms, A1B and A1. The only difference between these two isoforms is that in HNRNPA1B, there's inclusion of the exon 7B that elongates the intracyclic disorder region. Fun fact, the literature is mostly focused on HNRNPA1, and not much is known about HNRNPA1B. Why? Because they're technically considered the same. Nevertheless, there have been some studies done in our lab that actually showed some major differences between A1 and A1B. First, we know that in 97% of ALS cases, there's a nuclear depletion of TDP43. Well, a study showed that this depletion increases the inclusion of exon 7B and thus favorizes the HNRNPA1B isoform. On the other hand, a study showed that there's also differences between the localization of these two isoforms. A1B is found in the neuronal processes and in the nucleus, when A1 is mostly in the nucleus. With this result, we hypothesized that HRMPA1B has previously uncharacterized functions in the neuronal cytoplasm and is potentially implicated in ALS pathogenesis. First of all, we were able to find some novel interactors with the immunoprecipitation mass spectrometry technique. A majority of these novel interactors are motor proteins, dynein, kinesin, and myosin, thus proteins implicated in transport. Afterwards, we validated the interaction with MH9, K5C, KLC1. Also, this interaction seems to be RNA independent. Furthermore, by in-silico analysis, we found that the potential presence of the Y-acidic motive in HRMPA1B. This motive is known in the literature for allowing interaction with the light chain kinase in KLC1. Interestingly, the amino acid adjacent to this motive is mutated in some ALS cases. This mutation changes the on amino acid to a charge one, and therefore could potentially impair the interaction with the kinase. Finally, we were able to show that A1B granules in the processes colocalize with mRNAs, and that A1B can bind RNAs like HSP8. In conclusion, hrmp one b interactor partner supports a cytosol function in neurons in mRNA axonal dendritic transport. Also, it's important to study these isoforms independently to obtain a better understanding in protein function and molecular mechanism leading to the disease. Future studies will further characterize this novel function and explore it in the ALS context. Thank you. Oh, thank you for listening and thank you to all collaborators and all CVB members lab. If you have any question, please free to contact me by email. Thank you.